Hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. I want to thank everybody that's watching and subscribing. I appreciate it. Appreciate some of the comments. We're going to be working on the 140 some this week. Thought I'd bring you along for the adventure. Uh, the clutch on it. <clears throat> it's still working. It's just jerking and grabbing real bad. It's, uh, it's kind of messed up. But anyways, I'm going to pull it apart and see what we got. Uh, a couple of, of course, I guess the last video I've done is showing you the little three-point hitch I put on. That really worked out well. I was pleased with that. Uh, Saturday, I was sitting here scrolling, you know, hitting the marketplace thing. Some guy had some 12.4 uh, tires for sale. I, I'm in bad need of really tires for the back of it and the front would love to find one to one on the right side was a little bit dry rotted but it was in good shape good tire which that's fine uh, but anyways they had these 12.4s they were real cheap and they're already on rounds but they were kubota rims so there you go i run over anyways end up buying and stuck them on the tractor uh saturday night i think it was and uh, it's there, the 11 point twos was 41 and a half inches high from the concrete. And these are 43 inches high. So they're an inch and a half higher. And uh, I can definitely tell, I mean, you, it sets the tractor up a little bit, a little bit higher. And I just don't know how it's going to work for us just, you know, pulling the cultivators at a real slow speed. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I may not even keep them. I may, I'm going to break my other wheels down and see if I can get the rims cleaned up. We'll walk around here. Take a look at it. And like I said, this tire here. It was on the right side, and it, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's a great tread, which that's fine. I mean, most everybody's running those dry rod tires anyways that's working them. Uh, I guess I got a, a, a matching set of dry rod tires now. But anyways, they, they look a lot better than what was on it. We're fishing out in the middle of this clutch and get it down to see what we need. Uh... I buy a lot of stuff, you know, off eBay, and, and everybody sells on eBay, whether it's Steiner or, or uh, you know, yesterday's tractors or, you know, anybody that sells parts sells on eBay. You get on there and you start looking for a clutch kit for 140, and you find the pictures are identical, the descriptions are identical. Uh, the uh, only difference you see is price. So you can buy a clutch kit anywhere from $160 you know, up to $350. And, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I couldn't tell you what, you know, which one's high quality, which one's not. Uh, talking to a, a guy on a, one of the Facebook uh, websites I'm on the Farm Mall 140 website anyways and he said he just he just pulled it apart and replaced the disc he said the clutch you know and mine's not slipping it's just it's just jerking so I imagine there's something wrong with the disc on the inside but anyways so I decided I'm just gonna take it apart and see what I got and I'm gonna bring you along we're gonna get the muffler and the hood and all off of it and and uh, I then pulled the uh, front cultivators off of it. Okay, babe. Wise headed Dollar General, get me some pot and soil. But anyways, and I'll uh, I'll shoot a little bit along as we go and turn this into a little video about replacing the clutch. Uh, and and uh, so I should be able to get it apart real easily tonight. See what I got. 
Then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, who I'm gonna order parts from, get a clutch kit, get a disc, whatever. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Uh, but anyways, let's keep on rolling. There it is, I'm gonna start turning some bolts. Okay, here we are back with it. Uh, about to pull this thing apart. I'll show you where I'm at. About to get hot. I'm 80 plus degrees today. Well, anyways, so we got all the common stuff, hood, and the lines loose. Got the tank loose in the back of the motor. Cherry picker here, got a little stand here on the back to hold it up. Uh, we're, we're, we're about ready to about ready to split this thing. Here I see what this clutch looks like. This should be a good week for the farm off. I'm gonna order me some more tires, tubes for the front. Back, probably through our, our planting season, anyways. Maybe by the time it gets around to cultivating, I'll, I'll swap them over the rims. My, my, I'm gonna get these tires off the rims, see if I can clean them up. They're, they're, uh, I gotta figure out a good way to clean stuff. I mean, that's, that's gonna be a lot of, a lot of elbow uh, grease right there. Not the best looking rim in the world either. This over here looks fine. I mean, it's not busted up at all. So, might be a, might be a good idea if I start trying to find another rim. I, I don't know. Can't say I was having any issue out of it, but. But it is a it is looking rough. I'm going for these lugs here. I guess the wheel must have got loose at some point in its life. All right, let's split this thing. Let's split this house in half and see what we got. All right, here we are where the rubber hits the road. Well, everything's wore out. Clutch disc is wore out. Riding on the rivets on both sides. Pressure plate, fingers is wore out on it. The wet bearing ain't don't sound good at all. Just ragged. So I guess that answers the question. I won't just be buying a clutch disc, it'll be a complete kit. Uh, I guess the next step, get the flywheel off. Clean everything up, clean the bell housing out, uh, order some parts, give it a few days, put it back together. I bet I really enjoy having a, a, a new clutch. It was a little aggravating. You let the clutch out and it just start grabbing and jumping. And, but oddly, I mean, as wore out as this thing was, it, I mean, I pulled two road turning plow through a pretty good size area out there and I, I never it never did slip or anything so I mean it was still doing its job <laughs> it was just wore out but that's a that's a pretty good uh, analogy of this this whole tractor that I'm rebuilding it's it's just been a it's getting better every time but it's still I mean there's still a lot I need to do I mean you know even the transmission that I put the new seals and bearings in it's as noisy as anything I ever heard it's working okay but i guess them all the rusty and pitness on the gears is just causing way too much noise i, I drove another the other day and it was it was i mean i made noise but it was reasonable what i would expect i straight cut gears but you know i'll, I'll cross that bridge again it's it's not a Not insurmountable. Uh, 
couple things that I mean that need to be done. I do need to pull the gearbox off the front steering gear and reseal it. I get it full of grease, but yeah, it's working. I'll just leave it full of grease for right now. Got to say, some of these projects for winter time, Donna. I'm leaking a little bit of water right in here around the head gasket. Uh, but I'm, I'm just really, I'm not even having to add water to it. I'm sure, uh, you know, time rolls on, it will. It just stays a little bit wet right in there. Uh, um, but I could see this maybe, maybe doing an engine rebuild over the winter, do a complete engine rebuild. I'll rebuild the distributor, put a new water pump on it, just go through everything up here. I'm gonna keep working on this old tractor until I, until I get it like I want it. Been painting on a little stuff as I work on it. And honestly, if I had it do over again, I'd get it all cleaned up and I'd shoot it with clear just to keep it from rusting. And you know, I mean, it's just an old tractor. I'm gonna work it. I mean, it's not gonna sit in shed nowhere it might, it might be nice to have one to ride in a parade but i, I doubt it's going to be this one well anyways so we're going to keep on working get some stuff cleaned up uh, call a day and go eat some supper in a little bit and uh, i'll click this thing back on when i want to get some more parts to work with Here's a quick update on the clutch install. Of course, we got it apart, been cleaning up. I'll show you where we're at. So we kind of got the back of our motor cleaned up real good. It's not a new bushing in there. Parts ain't got here yet, but if uh, she yeah, fits that good in time, I promise you I'm not gonna swap it out. And I got the tools to take it in and out with, but I would figure it's lasted 61 years. It's, it lasts another 61 years. Got some of the rust off the flywheel, hit it with some scotch brat. Nice if I was sending it out by the machine shop and have it resurface, but I think she'll be all right. One big issue I run into is with my throw out bearing. Uh, sleeve here it was just it was more almost down fixing to be worn completely in two on one side the other side had a little wear too uh, and you can see here you know on the shaft where it's worn now I, I'm gonna I'll turn, I'll turn that thing around backwards and get on the side that it's not been used I got her bell housing cleaned up uh, collar look, feels pretty good ordered a few other little parts for it i have ordered my front tire so i don't like car tires in the front either but that's what i had to start with ordered a what all did I order? I ordered a new screen mesh to go in the bottom of my air filter housing. Uh, I ordered a little band to go around the back of the starter where it's not open. I ordered a little IH emblem to go up here on the front. Uh, ordered a little rubber boots that go right here. All four of them. I'd like it look a little better. Um, probably a few more things I'm forgetting to mention. Uh, I did go with a solid clutch. Clutch does have springs in the center. Uh, just seems like to me that's less to tear up. Now, I've, I've done that before in some performance type work. And, but you know, that's a totally different story. This is farming. Uh, I think it'll be fine though. This makes sense to me. It'll be okay. 
I think the clutch kit was about $165 with the lineup shipped off eBay, which was one of the least expensive clutch kits they had. So I guess I'll find out whether buying the cheapest clutch money can buy was the right idea or not. give it a shot anyhow other than that we just clean up a little bit uh, I think I'm gonna get a hold of the fuel tank here with a little bit of scotch bright and see if I can uh, get some of the rust off of it I bought me another can of uh, this high dollar high high or be high end paint as much as it costs this, this stuff here that you uh, buy over to your tractor supply, I mean, what, $16 a can? There ought to be liquid gold in there, that kind of money. <laughs> All right, that's got you up to date. It'll be two or three days before I see a clutch, probably Friday. I don't know if I'll get back on it Saturday or not, depending on what all's going on. I just, uh, I, I think I like a clutch. I believe the, well, of course, it's just all wore out. Clutch disc, clutch pressure plate. I mean, the fingers on the pressure plate was wore out. It was, it was really on the, it was on the verge of just quitting all together. But, Anyways, there we are, and I'll uh, we get the clutch in. We'll we'll open the box and see what we got, and and uh, put it in there. It's it's not not a tough job doing a clutch. I mean, it's not at all difficult. Ah, another little thing I did was I thought I'd put me some wheels on this little old uh, bracket of mine, so I can cock to me some wheels and. And uh, some hinges, and so I can raise it up, and run them little bolts in, and get get it about a half inch off the ground, and and uh, move it around a little easier. Uh, it's working. It uh, kind of lightweight for what it is, but uh, you know, no more than I use it. I wish they had concrete out in front of the shop instead of gravel. I'd roll the thing out there in the yard and I would have got a hold of it probably with a pressure washer instead of sitting there scrubbing on it with a, what I was using, which was just mineral spirits and brush and, and a wire brush and a scrub brush and a scraper and a screwdriver and everything I could rub on it with. But uh, anyways, this got it cleaned up, so. I'm just ready for parts to get here. Ready for the tires to get here. I, hey, in the next, next 10 days, gonna pick this old tractor up a good bit. I, I'd also, I should mention this too, went ahead and bought the kit to rebuild the, uh, the touch control system, the hydraulic system. So, so that's something else I'll be rebuilding pretty soon. I'll get that over there on the, on the transmission bench. Get that over on the, on the main bench. And, and uh, disassemble that thing, get it cleaned up and back together. Uh, so it's 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 coming on along. Uh, just got to get it back together. We can get a garden planted because I'm planning on planting this garden, and and no more than two weeks. I usually wait after Good Friday, which you know is Friday week. So we can get it back together. Uh, I'll get some rows cut in and seed and fertilizer in the ground and and getting something growing we'll get this season going well, all right so I'll, uh, I'll like i said we'll open we'll open the clutch kit when it gets here and see what we got hello everybody we're back at it again now here's what we got we got our tires in so we'll be mounting them up pretty soon and we got our clutch in so i'm gonna make a little progress i got it kind of ready to put back together cleaned up uh, we're gonna unbox this clutch and just kind of see what it looked like 
prop a camera up here against something. Let's see how this will work for us. There you go. See what this thing looks like. I thought to myself when I was picking the box up, the UPS dropped off, that it uh, didn't weigh very much. It didn't weigh enough to be a clutch. Here it is, it is a clutch. Comes with a shaft, pilot bushing. It's pretty solid. Which is a solid center disc and no springs in it. Explain, that's good. This car the same diameter. Pressure plate appears to be identical. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Like I said, it was a hundred and sixty dollars off eBay. Least expensive, least expensive clutch kit they had and come with a shaft. That's a company called JP Tractor. That's the name of it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see where the box is. Says Parks Fulfillment Center, Lake Mill, Mills, Iowa. But on eBay, I think it said JP Tractor. There we go. We'll see about getting this thing back together, getting her back and moving. I think I'm more excited about the tires than them, anything. Um, well, uh, kind of track her progress on this thing as it happens. I'll shoot a few more little short clips and tie them all together. 
Uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is sit down here and, and uh, get this clutch on the back of the motor. Got the flywheel bolted up, torqued down. Um, gonna get this on, line back up, torqued together. I may go ahead and just slide the two halves together and get the bell housing bolts in. And uh, then do the tires. I think it might be a little easier to do the tires once I got it bolted back together. Uh, so let's make a little progress here. Get the old Farm All 140 back going. We got to plant a garden here in the next few days. We'll keep you up to speed here as we move along. Mm. All right, here's the get. Clutch is in, works like it's supposed to. Went together pretty easy. Took a lot longer to put together than to take it apart. So it might come apart relatively quick. It's probably pushing nine o'clock at night and I'm tired. Uh, I drove it around out there in the dark a little while. Same like, you know, it's done what it's supposed to. I did adjust the clutch. I got the pedal to re it releases way down. Uh, Cause I'm long legged and it's just, it's difficult on me when the clutch, you know, releases the top. Now one thing about this clutch I can say is when you let it out, it's ready to go. It don't play, it catches and goes. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to call it a night and head back up to the house. See if I can scratch me up a little bite to eat, take a shower. Uh, see what tomorrow holds. Uh, maybe I'll get to work on a tractor a little bit. Or I might be out working on somebody's heating and air conditioning. Who knows? Uh, just depending on what, uh, what that phone over there tells me to do. But all right, we'll be back tomorrow, I hope, and do it a little bit more. All right, here we are back in the shop. Uh, Friday morning, I think. Got my tires in yesterday. I think it was anyways. So there we go, we got them off. Got a low tire change over here that I only use very often, so I got the tires peeled off with a little help from that. Like a lot of things around this shop, I gotta work on it before I can use it again because it gets used about every six months. I just use it for mostly trailer tires and stuff. I do have quite a few trailers. I got this one over here on the lathe. I cleaned it up with a combination of a grinder and a grinder and another wheel on it got it about a smooth all the rust loose stuff i can get off of it got it painted gonna let that dry fix and do the other one the same way that was heavily rusted uh, this one over here is not pretty but it's not near as bad looking as the first one was uh, so i'm gonna clean it up and Get a little paint on it, let it dry real good, and then mount the tire and install the tube and do the outside bead and have some fresh tires on it before it's over with. I'm a little bit excited about it, but it's, I have to say, fool me, it's tired. That first one was a deal to get off. Tubes don't look too bad. They really haven't been uh, patched anywhere. and, and uh, and they weren't leaking down, so you know I'll hang on to them. I got, I got a catch-all shed over where I put everything in. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll get these tires on, and uh, we'll get her, uh, we'll get her back on ag tires. Anyways, I just, I did not like, you know, car tires on it, and it looked like come off an old Model A too. So they were some old tires. So hey, they were probably period specific I guess but she's coming along uh, 
I cleaned the tank up a little bit. Got some of the surface rust off of it. I'll, I guess I'll shoot it with some paint more long. And right there is just being up. But anyways, let me get busy getting these tires back on and uh, a little bit I'll show you the end result. All right, here we are. Back in the shop, Saturday morning. Had some storms come through yesterday, kind of blew some things around, but uh, we are all right. Just going to finish up this video on this uh, clutch install and the tires and give you a, a look at it. Now I got it all back together. Uh, it looks pretty good. I like it. The lag tires look good on the front. Clutch works good. Got a little band to put around the starter. Uh, <laughs> it really is not the right one, but I, I painted the grill and put this little old emblem on there. So I'm going to kind of leave it like it is to get a little gardening done. I, I may, not, may not take her apart for a little while. It's turned into a pretty good little old tractor. These, uh, put these 12.4s on the back. To me, it still looks like it sits sideways for whatever reason, but it does got two identical sets of tires on it. Maybe one of them's got a little more air in it. It kind of looks like the one right there is air that tight. I have to check pressure and just put them on. They were the wrong rims. They actually came off a Kubota tractor, from what I understand. Uh, they bolted up on the left side fine. The right side, they didn't didn't quite do what they didn't line up quite like I wanted them to. Uh, but I, I got some. Uh, I'm gonna take my other tires off them rims out there and clean them up. Uh, I think it's gonna work better for me. But there it is. It's coming along. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We'll sew it all up and get it on the YouTube channel. And uh, maybe the next one we'll be putting some seed in the ground. Get out there and do a little bit of uh, making some rows and get some seed in the ground. Uh, I doubt my planter's not going to plant much because I only got one seed plate. I don't have what I need to really plant with. I, I think I could probably, if I, you know, be using the fertilizer to place the fertilizer side the plants when I, when they grow up a little bit. Right now, all I really got is that little earthway planter up there. Uh, <laughs> I seen a video where this cat actually took it apart and made everything out of metal and pulled it behind this tractor. I, I was kind of impressed with the idea. Um, I got my eyes out before a planter, but there really ain't much out there right now and everything's priced as high as it can be. Uh, anyways, there you go. I'll sew this video up. Thanks for watching the channel, like and share. Um, and we'll we'll be back with something else pretty soon. Uh, next project here is to finish that old hoop coop up and get these baby chickens out of this box over here into something a little more permanent. So thanks for watching again. Thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time.